Is that too much? That's probably too much. Okay. <laughs> Hello, and welcome to my closet. We are filming in my closet today because I wanted to share with you what we got our kids for Christmas. I am a homeschool mom to three kiddos. I'm not a big family mom like a lot of you guys watch, but hey, I've got three, and we've got three kids to talk about for Christmas gifts, and I'm also late to the party. Yeah, that's, that's not new at all. <laughs> late to the party, but my lovely friend Wendy over at Plan Prep Pray, I think I got it at that time. Uh, Wendy hosted a What I Got My Kids For Christmas collab about a month ago. So I was buying gifts at the time, but I didn't have them all in stock. And I think we are finally finished with our Christmas gift shopping. And in just about an hour or so, we're gonna start wrapping them. So I figured I'd tell you what we got before they were wrapped. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you my three kiddos. I'll tell you about them first. Maybe you have a kid just like mine and you might be looking into what you wanna get your kids for Christmas. So my oldest is 11. She's a lovely girl who is into mythical creatures, mostly dragons. She also loves foxes. Oh, and she loves reading and drawing, crafting, all that kind of stuff. So that's my oldest. Okay, for her, we ended up getting her a lot of books. Uh, when we buy Christmas gifts for our kids, we don't necessarily follow the something to wear, something to read, something you need like that because we have very generous grandparents who will buy our children lots of clothes <laughs> and a few things that they want. So my husband and I, we really like to, we really just like to get them a few gifts that we know that they will love, that they will use. And the parameters that we have set for our gifts are I do prefer to buy them books. I like to get them books, something to read. And if they get like a toy or something, it has to, or not has to be, but we like to do uh, like STEM based stuff, engineering. And we just try to make sure that we are getting things that they're interested in that will fit the hobbies that they have right now and maybe push them and encourage them in the hobbies they want to do as they grow older. So that is what we do for our Christmas gifts. All right, so let's start with my oldest. I already told you about her. We got her a lot of books. So the first book is the Dragon Lord series, right? The Dragon Lord Saga, book number one. Oh, I better be quiet. Oh, hopefully she doesn't hear me. This is a graphic novel. So this is Martin and Marco by Johnny Jimson, and it is from the Rabbit Room Press. Uh, we love supporting the Rabbit Room Press. They are the ones where the Wing Feather Saga came out of. So if you have kids who love the Wing Feather Saga, you might uh, have kids that love this. So it is a graphic novel and it definitely goes along with the dragon lore. So I'm really excited for her to have this. The second book just came out. You can also order that one as well. And we're waiting for that one to come in the mail. So yay. Another book for my dragon lover. <laughs> the dragon grammar book. I came across this when I was just looking for stuff for her and it's grammar for kids, dragons, and the whole kingdom. And I kind of try to squeeze it in like a school thing. So yeah, sometimes I do that at Christmas, but I only did it once this time. But as I was looking through this, I even started reading it and it's hilarious. Uh, it's basically explaining, explaining grammar rules using uh, words that go along with dragons and knights and castles and medieval type stuff. So it just goes through basic grammars things like quotation marks, which or that, are and is, uh, comma confusion, ellipses, brackets, and braces. So just basic grammar stuff. If she does not pick this up on her own, which I really think she might, she might really enjoy this. Um, but because she is trying to get into writing. Uh, but if she does not pick it up on her own, we will be using it for school and I'll assign her like two pages a day or something. So, yay! Oops. Okay, the other book I got her is Pax, has a sequel. Pax Journey Home. Uh, she read the first one, I think she has it. I think she got it for her birthday. Um, or it might have been last Christmas we got it for her. But um, I saw this was out and I was like, yes, I have to get that for her. So um, this is such a lovely story, such a lovely, sweet story. And the last book I got her is Mythical Beasts and Creatures. I think it's a, oh no, it's a DK book. Uh, the Book of Myth Mythical Beasts and Magical Creatures. So uh, you can tell there's all kinds of, all kinds of mythical creatures. Um, so the interesting thing about this book is it's talking about like mythical creatures and legends from all over the world, 
from ancient times and and so on and so forth um so it is, is a little bit educational too but she has been really interested in these kind of things so i know that she will love picking up this book all right and lastly this is probably going to go in her stocking because look how cute it is look how cute that is we found our kids these little 8-bit dough. They're just tiny uh, game controllers that will hook by Bluetooth to like iPads and phones and tablets and stuff like that. So it's really, it's going to be really good to use like on the go when my kids are playing games. Um, and we got one for each of them. So <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so yeah, these were super cute and super affordable. So we definitely got those for all the kiddos. And another one, we... <laughs> going along with the dragon theme uh these are flying dragons this book looked really cool it is templates basically to create you know paper airplanes that are shaped like dragons um we know my daughter loves origami and she loves folding things and creating things and, and she loves dragons so we know that this is going to be right up her alley and she's going to spend so much time just doing this and now i'm just getting my mentally prepared to have paper dragons all over my house <laughs> for a while okay so my next kid he is an eight-year-old he's almost nine and the poor kid his birthday is right around christmas so we got this for his birthday a nice ratchet and clank ps4 game and we got this for him for christmas let's see if i can let's see if i can get it out i should probably stand up and do this i hope um, my husband is really good at finding deals. So even though I talk about affordable homeschooling, he's the one who's like the deal finder. So just literally two days ago, two days ago, he saw like a hobby grade remote control car on sale and it was a really, really good price. And my son has been interested in remote controlled cars for a while now, but every car he gets, you know, they're around maybe $30, maybe $50, but usually they last no more than a year. They break within seriously of using them like five times. And I was kind of getting tired of that because, you know, you're just putting money into a toy that just breaks two days later. So I'm like, I'm not against remote control cars, but I'm willing to put a little bit more money into it to get something nicer that's going to last. So uh, my husband did research on it, read the reviews. They say it's a good car. Um, it's definitely on the pricey side, but this is pretty much all that we've gotten him for Christmas. So I know he's really going to enjoy this. So I'm super excited to see him play with it. It goes really fast. He's That's like 30 miles an hour. Wow. Okay. On, and then my youngest, he is six years old currently. He is into, uh, he loves reading, but I haven't gotten him any books. But anyway, he loves reading and video games and like puzzles and board games and stuff like that. So this is the video game that he asked for it is Hot Wheels Unleashed. I had not heard of this, but I know he wants it and we think it's okay. And this, this is so cool uh my husband found this again doing some research and looking for deals uh it's called circuit maze it's the electric current logic game so you have uh, little cards here that show you ways your your goal is to build build a circuit to try to get the light to turn on and it like it really turns on it really works um and we know that he really likes puzzle games they say it's age eight and up but with our six-year-old we find that he's fairly logical and really does well with games so he can definitely uh do an eight-year-old game for sure so he plays some 14 year old and up games i he just blows my mind so we're really excited for okay. that one and for my daughter i forgot to mention it's not here yet but we went ahead and ordered her um ever oh i think it's called everwood ever something i think it's called everwood everville everclear no um it's a board game that she's been interested in that we know we can play all as a family but it's got really 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 beautiful art it has um some cute woodland animals forest animals and she's been really interested in this game so we ordered that for her and it should be here soon um and we're excited to see her enjoy that lastly there's a few gifts that we wanted to get that we know uh that all the kids are gonna like i saw these and i was like we gotta get them for them we have been in a uh, hobbit lord of the rings theme lately at our house uh, we've just read the hobbit so i came across this and oh who told me about it i think i heard about it from megan at pennies and salts i think uh, 
<laughs> is the graphic novel version of The Hobbit. So um, I do guarantee, not guarantee, I do recommend <laughs> to read The Hobbit before you read a graphic novel version, but I'm really excited for the kids to enjoy this. I thought about giving it to my eight-year-old because he likes graphic novel, but I knew if I gave it just to him, he would just claim it for himself and not share with his brother or sister. <laughs> so I think we're just gonna give it to all three of them and they can just rotate through whoever's reading it. And then to go along with that, uh, my husband found this on a deal. It is the whole Lord of the Rings and the Hobbit set. And it's just some, just really, really cute, like little set some, with some uh, faux leather bounding, I think. Yeah, that's gonna be su super cute. And then lastly, normally we get the kids Legos, but we, you can see we didn't purchase any Legos this year. Um, if you do wanna see what I got them last year, you can watch that video here. Um, I'll put that in the iCard or in the description below, um, but they still love playing Legos and they have a lot of Legos. We're so thankful for that. But I love, love, love Sarah D's books. Love, love, love these books. I think we have two of them already, but this is her newest book. It just came out like two weeks ago. I think I ordered it the day it came out uh, when I got her email telling us about it, but it is the big book of Amazing Lego Creations. And I was like, do they really need another creation book? Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah, they need another one. They have plans for a Cyclops, a dragon, a robot, lots of different car vehicles, a castle, oh, a little otter that swims on his back and just so many robots. So I know my kids are going to have a lot of fun creating and building with this book. And this is gonna help them stay busy for a long time. <laughs> In our family, we love giving gifts. Uh, we try to keep it affordable, but we love giving them things that will be good quality and that will last for a long time. And we know that it will be things that they will use for you know years to come. Uh, we also like to make sure we try to keep Christ in Christmas uh, all throughout the holidays. We know it's not just about Santa Claus. We technically don't even do Santa Claus. There's a little secret there. But if you want to see my video that I did last year about keeping Christ in Christmas, you can check that one out. I think that was another collab with Wendy that she did last year. Uh, don't forget to check out Wendy's video and what she's getting her kids and check out the playlist below. Be sure to subscribe to see my next video. I'm excited to be participating in a Christmas mom box swap and that will be coming. You don't want to miss that. You got to find out who was box someone sent to me and who I sent a box to. I haven't gotten my box yet, so I don't know yet. Hopefully it comes soon. That video will be coming out December 20th uh, this year. So thanks guys. It's good to have you here. I hope you go find his joy among the noise and that through all the, the chaos and the clamor of the holidays, I pray and hope that you can keep your eyes focused on Jesus and that you can find his joy for sure in this holiday season. Uh, I will see you in the next video. Bye!